A Zurich against uh, Polisen in this game. Here we are, and we are in the game. Uh, we lost the connection to the pool sound. We cannot hear anything uh, from the pool area right now. Don't know what happened. Uh, the microphone. Ah, here we go okay. again. Thank you very much, Technic. Uh, doing so. Polisen from Sweden in white, and Zurich from Switzerland in blue. And uh, my guess that Polisen is uh, the stronger team here, but we saw Switzerland yesterday well uh, defending and doing a good job. Uh, two mistakes and they got two goals. Um, but nevertheless, um, they are nine people and uh, they put everything they have in the water. But we see Polisen going now uh, already in attack mode on the open side, on the basket, above the goalkeeper. And there is no goalkeeper now from Switzerland. Switzerland is under heavy pressure here, and the ball is uh, was on the surface and is recovered by police. And then they wow, that was a lot of movement. Um, they are going in three people, three players from police, and now on the basket in Switzerland. And I guess this is uh, no, this is no goal. Very well done by Switzerland by the goalkeeper to fend them off, and uh, I'm I'm impressed by the play of Switzerland. But Polisen, uh, is, is they, they are too many people from Polisen and on the Swiss basket. They are even blocking each other. Um, but th I think Switzerland will not withstand this pressure for a long time. But now they manage even to break free off uh, in the uh, attack. And Polisen retook the ball three meters from the Swiss basket. And the ball dropped down into the hand of a Swiss player. But he's alone. Um, it's demanding for the players from Switzerland to keep up with the speed Polisen puts in the water. And uh, it's, it's really difficult early in the morning. I hope they prepared well and warmed up. Because if your lungs are not up to the task and you're nine people, you don't have the time to recover. And uh, you, you produce gaps in your defense. But right up till now, we see Switzerland defending very well. Two players from Polisen going in now. Four players of Polisen on the basket of Switzerland. That's a heavy attack. But again, very well defended by Switzerland. They don't have the capacity to do a forechecking call from the referee. Holding without ball. And I think it's a free throw against free Polisen. Throw and this gives... Uh, this gives Switzerland a second to take their breath, restructure, and we are three minutes in the first half of the second game here on Saturday, Champions yeah. Cup 2017. Zürich lost yesterday against uh, Vienna 1-0, and they also put up a, a, a strong defense. Remember, they are playing with nine players, yep. I believe, right? Yep. So Where it's going ball? to be... Uh, and right now, they're still uh, being able to hold from the, with the condition, but it Polisen is a strong team, free throw. and eventually... No. Hold on, there's a uh, misunderstanding going on here. Free throw, yes, here we go. Free throw for Switzerland. But uh, intercepted by Polisen, and Polisen is already uh, in attack mode. On the close side, they try to establish their attack pattern in the corner, and we have now a Swedish player going in in front of the basket but he lost the ball was intercepted by a swiss player but the player uh, from switzerland cannot break free and is tackled by police and right close to their own basket and we're still in the dangerous area of switzerland but switzerland uh, is in ball possession and is now trying to break free for the first time but intercepted by police and, and i think we're just waiting for the first goal from police and, but until now, it's a great work from Switzerland defending their basket. And they're only defending. But here we go. This will be, yeah, that's it. The, the attacker game came uh, into the, the oh goalkeeper life. from Switzerland. And there was another player from Polisen waiting, both of them on the open side. And there was too much like pressure for... Switzerland, but nevertheless, they uh, fended them off for five minutes, and it was a good work. <laughs> Polisen lost against Bamberg no, yesterday. They no, are together. No. We have this one of the uh, group, no, one of the group of four: uh, Bamberg, Polisen, Zurich, and Vienna. 
And yesterday, Polisen lost against Bamberg and um, Zurich had lost against Vienna. So, uh, less than five minutes left in this first half. And Switzerland is uh, holding on to the ball on the surface, trying to keep time, pushed outside of the playing area. So it's a free throw against Switzerland. Um, was out free throw white. Polisson is definitely um, dominating this game and we guess we will not see much attack on the Polisson basket. Call from the referee, uh, there was an attack going on. There was a grip on the basket, holding, and free throw against Polisson. Another uh, second for Switzerland to take a breath, and hopefully they can uh, execute their free throw better Final than the last ball. one, which was um, instantly intercepted by Polisson. No. Morning blue, playing for playing for time. Play for time. Next time you get a team warning. So uh, the referees are quite tough. They uh, accused uh, Switzerland for playing I for time. The they have to uh, execute. Two meters. They have to execute instantly, but they didn't. Here we go. Free throw, but uh, tackled already by. Um, but uh, Switzerland is now attacking, and we have uh, we have the first uh, chance from Switzerland to go to the Polisen basket, but they don't succeed, and Polisen intercepted, and is going now for an attack. And uh, we see the same pattern. They are really confident at the Swiss basket, even though the defense is quite good. The Polisen is free to travel around, and we have a one-on-one -on -one situation. No defense on the basket of Switzerland. But uh, uh, astonishingly, goalie did, yeah, the, the, the goalie did a great job and then they gave enough time to the rest of the team just to arrive and really save that goal. It was really, really Very well uh, done. <laughs> Switzerland is doing a great job and I guess if they would have 15 players in the water, uh, not in the water, but at the pool, um, we would see probably more resistance, even the chance, and that's another goal from Polisson. That was very fast. I mean, even with the yeah. defense, but the goalie came from a bit from above. Goal for white. I think the number 33. Number 33, which is... Succeeded in scoring. Mm. It's a 2-0 and uh, less than two minutes left. Jakob Tull. So, I think I will continue speaking Swedish uh, <laughs> and... and nor, uh Tuck. Tuck. <laughs> That's the only word I know in, in, word I know in Sweden. I, I Swedish. think I have to give up the Turkish. I didn't have time to to practice last night. We even yeah, Holison is uh, free to uh, do their thing around the Swiss basket. The Swiss are mostly concentrating on defending. Um, we see a little bit of forechecking now from uh, Switzerland to fend uh, the Polisen player off. But now two players from Polisen are waiting under the basket of Switzerland, and that's a dangerous situation. But uh, astonishingly, they cannot uh, succeed. Uh, this attack, even though they seem to be undisturbed by Switzerland. So Switzerland, uh, all in all, is doing a great job here to keep their basket safe as much as they can, even though they are not able to break free. Um, they're trying now, they're in the half of the pool, um, trying to break through the forechecking defense of Polisen, but it's it's really difficult. They have to be careful in their back. But they're holding great. I mean, 2-0 after almost 10 minutes of of, uh, of, game of play time. I think they're doing a great job uh, with nine people trying to yeah. defend yeah. as much and hold. But while there was a block and the police player could attack from the open side Would and it? had the back of the goalie. And Switzerland the needs the break now. White, Switzerland definitely needs this break oh, to recover a little bit to go in the second half. They have eight seconds left and uh, they will be lucky 
uh, happy to, to have this break because uh, the pressure from Polisen is relentless. And here we have the break. So, um, how many people are watching? 71 people oh, watching. Okay. Yeah. 71 people watching in the live stream. Welcome, world, on the Water Rugby World. Um, probably people watching from Sweden and people uh, from Switzerland. In this uh, second, uh, third game, it's already the third game for today. No, the second the game. Second game. The second game. <laughs> ah, I'm ahead of myself. Mm, we still have, yeah, like some 23, 24 games to go today. I uh, had a coffee already, but I think I need a second one to really wake up. So, um, congratulations to Switzerland and no doubt congratulations to Polisen who play uh, a sovereign game here. They are really in control, they are confident, they don't overdo it. I don't have the impression they, they uh, push too hard, but they, uh, they have control and they control the game. You know, you know sometimes you have the situation um, when teams are uh, dominant, they go in really hard to, to yes, make a point. Yes, but Polisen doesn't need to. No. And here in the Champions Cup, uh, if you have teams that are uh, not as strong as you are, then you try to spare a little bit of uh, energy because um, you have, you know, many games to play and uh, you try to uh, balance um, the energy. I mean, and, and, and Polisen doesn't need to really put a little of a lot of, of, of um how you say <laughs> yeah but, uh, but violence that's in the true game. but but that's some uh, teams uh, they go for a uh, um uh for a feeding frenzy like with the sharks they go in and and make as much goals as possible but that's not happening here with police and they're really confident controlled playing very nice we have uh, carlos watching from australia Hey, Carlos, how are you doing? What time is it in Australia right now? Um, <laughs> I, c I cannot even it's imagine. Probably no, when we, we say good morning, they say good night, you know, like yeah, yesterday it's evening. <laughs> yeah. So thank you very much for tuning in from Australia, from down under, last 30 seconds in this break, um, till we start with the second half in this game, uh, Switzerland against Sweden. And... Sweden is holding on, uh, Switzerland is holding on um, to the defense as much as they can. And uh, we have a 3 0 lead from Sweden. We have a question here in the uh, uh, live stream chat. Oh, ¿Qué hora juega? Ah, me leíste la mente, Daniel. Estaba a punto de decirlo. El próximo juego de Orcas um, de las Chicas contra las Birds Riders de Australia. Así que. Uh, ah, next game is Orcas against uh, Australia, the, the women team. So stay tuned. The goal seems to be the goal was loose on the Polisen side. And uh, what the um, referee is doing there, that's exactly what you have to do because we have these uh, adhesive uh, uh, team rubber team on the s under the steel plate and you have to push it on the, on the bottom of the pool. So uh, Switzerland oh, was, was the first, cut, yeah. yeah, first on the basket, very well, uh, fast swimming. And here we see uh, Switzerland, they try to go into the first, second half and they want to make a point um, with the, the energy they could recover in the, in the break and they do a very well job now going forward. But uh, no, they, they still can hold on to the ball even though three players attacking the one Swiss player and we have a call from the referee it's a free throw against Sweden. That's an advantage for Sweden. Through. If they wanted to put the energy and the if they want to have the chance to score in this game in the second half, it is now. They have to take it and you see them. They, they are really going forward and they want to score. So let's see what they can do if they open up um, and risk catching another goal. But they cannot catch more goals than the losing goal. So let's see. No, if, if they, well, <laughs> if they lose 3-0, three, 4-0, three it doesn't matter. No, doesn't but if matter, they score, yeah. they make a point. Yes. That's what, uh, what they so they're they trying to, to do. Yeah. Okay, so no you no fan, no. yeah, you lose you lose or you lose. If you uh, lose 3-0, 4-0, it doesn't matter. But uh, it's really difficult. Polison is defending very well. And uh, 
but but respect kudos to switzerland they're doing a great job i mean they're putting a lot of uh, discipline team effort in trying to keep Polisen away from from their goal um but well Polisen has a bit more ball control and more a bit of a more present underwater um a bit more coordinate they have also i believe a they have 12 players so yeah it, it they look stronger they air, look yeah. they look uh, confident more, yes. yeah. yeah but it's not surprising uh, in this combination nine against the full team um but uh, switzerland uh, they they need every player to be up to the task defending and it looks like uh, that's what we have here uh, a really team that is willing to give everything to defend and uh, play here in the Champions Cup and uh, you could say well they are not the strongest team but that's not what it's about it's about the putting the heart and the passion in underwater rugby in the game and we see doing Switzerland that we have another attack from Polisen and uh, very well done change on the uh, Swiss basket the goalkeeper attacked was uh, changing while being attacked and there was no goal uh, done by police and very well and with another attack attack after attack and uh, eventually we will see this uh, goal but it's uh, amazing what Switzerland does here here we go but it took how long did it took take them very well 30 seconds 40 seconds yeah well it I mean well it, it was like the third or four wave which is uh, great um, because um, Switzerland doesn't have such an experienced team that is uh, playing even in the Euroleague and they're with nine players there so really they're doing a good job now it's I believe should be 4-0 right for uh, Polisen but uh, they're, they're really putting up a fight and they don't give up and this is what we mentioned in yesterday uh, teams that sometimes really in a disadvantage uh, they're really playing against teams that are much stronger continue to put up a fight and and fight for 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 every little bit of uh fight for their freedom <laughs> <laughs> freedom on their own basket no but this is not an easy task to keep mentally strong yes and, and yes. don't give yeah. up and and give everything you have even when you know you might that's a good topic zero. mental strength we have to get back to that but uh, now we see a counter-attack from polisen to the swiss basket going in really fast but there's only one player it took a little bit for the other players from polisen to go there and uh, the second wave succeeded in scoring but again very well defended uh, the first wave Both was fended off by Number switzerland 18. no it should be five zero for police and i mean the market did change but uh, i think uh, the referee table is probably sleeping here so it's a five zero for police and, and it's a little bit more than five minutes left in the second half switzerland against sweden Champions Cup 2017 and another fast attack to the Swiss basket um, but I haven't seen any any mistakes in the defense of Switzerland yet and here we go again uh, heavy attack fended off it's a reoccurring pattern here Polisen doesn't succeed on the first wave here's the second wave coming in and that was a try to throw the ball into the change of the goalkeepers didn't succeed and here comes the next wave going in from uh, the front yeah they, 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 I mean the Swiss don't really make it easier for Polisen well, no, even no, it's no. one and a half minutes left from the game they're fighting really to recover the ball uh, and they and really success uh, now they're, they're three meters away from the Swiss uh, basket and the police and returned yet again with the ball after the Swiss were trying to swim away but um, Switzerland does Switzerland not make it easy for no, police no, 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 it's really so, uh, police has to fight for every for every ball and for every goal and Switzerland does fight back with their teeth oh. it's really amazing uh, how they keep away the wave after wave oh attack and now they're even counter attack we saw okay. fast counter attack to the police in basket and then you see them surprised a little bit uh, because there was uh, the defender was swimming behind the counter attack but the goalkeeper was uh, there on time police and sorry 
that I uh, uh, no, 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 counter-attack okay, your my commentary. My brain, <laughs> my brain will start working sometime around 12. So and yeah. another attack from uh, Bullison uh, to the from the open side. Tackled away, pushed away by Swiss defense. And another attack coming in. And another attack. And the goal, but but all these goals happening here uh, in this game, Switzerland, yeah, okay. Sweden, did uh, happen so fighting. Number six and time out, time out blue. Okay. Time out blue. Six. Switzerland time is taking a time number out. Number six was Andreas Hoglund. Time out. And the six or yeah, six, six is yeah. for. And now we have people from Venezuela. Good morning, Osvaldo. Um, hey Oswaldo, how are you doing? It's good to have you in the chat. People from Venezuela that moved to, to Spain are playing for some of the Spanish teams, so it's great to have some of the Venezuelan players here. Um, let's see, time out for the Swiss team that's trying to recover and they're trying to get a strategy. Yeah, nine players. Well, that's, you know. I think even uh, uh, Paulison does a good does a good uh, game, but uh, in the end, um, they're they're I think they are not that satisfied. They do a good game, they control it, and they uh, they win this game. But uh, uh, it's surprising difficult for them to score. It's surprising difficult for them for to score against uh, well, nine players from Switzerland. Um, that Polisen will play in the Euroleague um, and has 12 players uh, and, and Switzerland just came with nine. Yeah. Um, okay, maybe. Switzerland wants sorry. Yeah. Ah, Switzerland wants to score here uh, in the last two and a half minutes and they go forward doing a really good job here coming on on the close side. They're now on the basket and uh, there's an attack on the goalkeeper from above call from the referee let's see what we have hold it no pushing holding uh free throw white oh, it's a free throw for oh Polison. because they were in a good attack but uh and uh, it's not against uh, Polison, but it was the only chance probably uh, switzerland will have in these last uh, two and uh, 15 seconds two minutes and 15 seconds to score so uh, when Polison is executing the free throw now and they establish uh, their control of the Swiss half of the pool. Uh, there will not be a chance for uh, Switzerland to attack the Swedish basket. Well played by Polisson. And it was a good warm-up game for them. And it's a clear win. Ah, that was a close call uh, on the over the head of the goalkeeper from Switzerland, but it didn't go in. It just they were around the other side. Yeah, but, but it was scored a little bit later. 7 0. Number 15. We number have uh, 15. Torsten Stanchus playing with Switzerland. Zacharias uh, Lauberg. And the last uh, minute is counting. We have one minute, one uh, by 15. One, the teams are arriving. This uh, is Ege coming Germans into the pool area. The Ege team coming earlier, the Orcas. And Good morning, Ege. Morning, everybody. So we have the Swiss um, fighting in the middle of the pool, trying to use the last minute to maybe score or do an attack with Polis and just recover the ball and it's coming into the goalie. That it's a little bit inside with the shoulder, but well, uh, the Swiss recovered the ball. Let's see. Call from the referees. What Free happened? throw against uh, Polisson. 30 seconds left. 35 seconds left. Free throw. Well, this this game is uh, is over, I guess. Uh, there's not much chance for Switzerland to do anything uh, substantial now. Last chance of an attack. They will go forward, all of them. They should, all <laughs> uh, all six of them should go into the area of police and 10 seconds left. Uh, but police and recover the ball and it's counting six, five, two. And that's it, game over. Game over, great 7 job zero. for Zurich. 7-0, it's really 
I mean, with nine players, I mean, really nine players, that's a hard yeah. thing to do. Come to e the especially if they had, uh, uh, did they have two two games yesterday, Switzerland? Yesterday, uh, they had, no, just one. They but, but played nevertheless. again um, against um, Bien, I believe. Let me double check. Uh, yes, and they lost 1-0. I mean, it was a strong... So right now, right now Polisen... So, Lorena, um, you yes. did mention uh, mental strength. Yeah, which I'm not having right now.